Dearly beloved, greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. America is a big country and has 50 states. One among them is a state named Utah. In this state, there is a beautiful city called Salt Lake City and I am speaking to you from there today. This is the place where the government servants and authorities governing this state and city gather. They call this the capital. The capital building of America is in Washington DC. They have built an identical but smaller one over here. The government functions are carried out from here. And speaking to you from here gives me great joy. Aren't you waiting eagerly wondering what word does the Lord have for me today? 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9 God is faithful by whom you are called into the fellowship of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord has called you. He is a faithful God. He is a God who remains faithful and leads us. Why has He called us? To have fellowship with Jesus Christ. Walking with Jesus is for you to have fellowship with Jesus Christ. Speak with Him and listen to Him speak. Having fellowship with the Almighty God. It is fellowshipping and communing with Jesus. That is why you have been called. Today it is mostly one-sided. We go and pray, say Amen and come back. Are we giving place for the Lord to speak with us? Because of this mistake of many, they are unable to have a close experience with the Lord. We quickly go, pray, ask and come back. We don't pay attention to what the Lord says to us. Then isn't having a fellowship with Jesus a great privilege? Many years ago, according to the Lord's guidance, a building was first built in Nalumavadi. It was called the House of God. It is a place where 3,000 people can gather and pray. Brother DJ's Dinakaran was a man of God powerfully used by God in India. A man of God who took gospel around the world. The Lord performed mighty miracles and signs through him and blessed many people. Many people will want to meet him and pray with him for just a minute. He had come to dedicate our building. We were all getting ready. His personal assistant came and spoke to us the previous evening. Brother wants to meet you. He is staying in the guest house. You and sister should come. We were preparing for the dedication which was to happen the next day. We got ready and went wondering what the matter might be. When we went over there, brother said that I called you so that we can have dinner together tonight. That's why I called you, brother. He asked us to sit and have dinner with him. And then we ate and spoke with them. They asked about many things. He listened to all that we said. He spoke with us. It was a miraculous experience. We had a fellowship with him even today. I cannot forget it. Isn't it such a great privilege to sit beside such a great man of God, eat, speak and share many things with him? Even when I think about it today, it will bring joy. So see, if having fellowship with a man being used by God brings such a joy, how great a joy will it be to have fellowship with God himself? Some will say, Brother, we are very happy to meet and speak with you. I am just a servant of God, a man being used by God. And if having fellowship with them is so joyful, how joyous will it be to have fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ who uses them? So you have been called to have the fellowship with him. If you begin to read the scriptures, meditate and speak with him daily, he will begin to speak with you as well. Having fellowship with the Lord, you have been called to have a fellowship with Jesus Christ. Did you speak with him today morning? Or did you listen to what he said? How many days has it been since the Lord spoke with you? Don't say, I don't have time. You should give time for the Lord. The trick of Satan's to keep us running by saying that there isn't any time. But if you give first place to the Lord and have a fellowship with him, that is a blessing. That is why the Lord has called us. Isn't that in itself a great privilege? 
Look unto the Lord and say, Jesus, you have called me to have a fellowship with you. I remember that and praise you. I should speak with you and listen to your voice daily. Give me that grace, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen.